hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for how many subscribers i've had recently i've gained like 30 in the last two weeks or a week it, it's insane you guys thank you so much um now to get on with the review uh here we have captain rex the face we all love I've been in like literally every single clone wars episode almost but i got this off of amazon for about 12 bucks i'm not kidding and you can see Clone Wars, Star Wars, Captain Rex. Got a nice little paint right there, Kenner. What I'm not liking very much is the box. Come on. Come on, Amazon, really? Come on. Come on. I can't even keep this in mint condition. I am not happy. I was thinking about ordering another one just so I can have one just on my shelf for like just a. If I ever wanted to sell it later on, who knows, it might be worth some money, but now, never mind that. So here, to get on with it, we have Captain Rex himself. Now let's open up the review. I'm going to try to save this card, if I can. I have a collection of cards for no reason, I don't know, I just like to collect them. You just want to pop it out just like so. I'm literally taking the entire card with me. Holy crap. That is not even good anymore. What happened? Oh my god. I don't know. But we'll keep that over there. It's cool. Then we have the figure himself. Captain Rex. Amazing figure in my opinion. So here we go. Just take him out. Just like so. Comes with like a little man manual. Not really a manual, but we'll check it out anyway. It says... 2020 Hasbro, whatever, you know, tells you choking hazard, whatever, yeah. Nobody needs to worry about that. Let me zoom in here on him. He comes with two DC-17 blasters, like I just said a minute ago. Just pop them out real quick. If I'm saying the blaster's wrong, I'm sorry, but I'm pretty sure these are DC-17s. There's one. This tape is so pesky, you guys. It's so pesky. Then two. So then, we pop the figure himself right out. Trying not to damage him, Mr. Box, please. Out. Right, just like that. Boom, right over there. I keep the plastic and stuff just in case I wanted to re-box him. Alright. Then we have the figure. The one we've all been waiting for. So from the looks of it, he has like a little bit of battle damage. Not really battle damage at all, actually. Just markings. He has ankle articulation here. In the knees, I believe. Yup. Knee articulation. It's a little stiff, though, because of his little armor right there. But yeah, you, you just have to be a little careful with him, because I'm pretty sure that that will pop out if you just... I don't know. So, and then his elbows articulate. They're a little stiff, that's for sure. But it should get better if you like play with it just a little bit more. His elbows, and then his helmet. Oh, it doesn't even, like, come off. It's just his head. There's no head underneath it. Guys, look at this. There, There's no head underneath it. What the heck? There's not even a head underneath it. That is so disappointing. Okay, well, whatever. Um, he's got his little markings for how many droids he's killed and stuff. Then his little legs articulate, like I said. Um, 